and we've got vanilla here how's it going vanilla how you doing yeah so let's take a quick look at uh at our progress thus far for our ball mr ball mr or mrs ball i don't know but uh -da -da. four days off straight nice hashtag p-a-i-m so here we are there is this is the ball and the last time i streamed i was placing the decals on these are the dry decals and let me tell you those were a bit of a pain to work on i'm used to the water slide decals and it was tricky it was tricky and we lost some we lost some along the way so we have to pour one out for the homies we <laughs> i messed up a, a handful of decals uh some were kind of significant some in the process of placing the, the decal uh you use scotch tape and some of it lifted off the paint which was not good so yeah basically i was having uh some difficulty putting that down but yeah there, as you can see there's a number of decals like right there on the back side there there's these little booster pack things there's a number of decals on there so yeah and we have to continue we are still not done with the decals there's a number of um, decals that go along the gun here the cannon um, however the ones that this kit come with those are actually stickers so they're not decals actually they're rather instead they're just like normal stickers and I think they're okay like it depends on your level of engagement it depends on how much you want to get into like the hobby and and making things look as uh, you know realistic quote unquote as possible so for for that reason I tend to stay away from from the straight up normal stickers um, so yeah this kit comes with a number of them I will not be using them uh, instead the plan is to look at my decal collection and I already went through my decal collection and I have some spares from previous kits or rather like previous custom work this one here was intended for this model the master grade Zaku 2 Johnny Ridden Johnny Ridden's uh, Zaku 2 I bought this for the witch you guys might remember that I built a and painted a witch in October and I bought this purely because it felt like I could make some good use out of all these decals and I did use a handful of decals uh, for the witch and so now let's see if we can kind of repurpose some of these for uh, for the ball here and on top of that I have a number of other decals like this one and this is for the tank uh, the tank that I had bought previously it's Eddie 69 what's up Eddie for thank you so much for the 69 biddies appreciate it how you doing Eddie we're just looking at some decals that we might use for the ball instead of the ones that have been provided uh, with the kit I is hung over <laughs> oh no oh no A wild night yesterday Eddie how often do you have wild nights on a weekly basis? I mean, you live in Vegas, so I mean, it's just how it is, I suppose. <laughs> now, once again, this is the work on the ball, and I'm pretty happy with what we've done so far. I think what we need to do also is kind of touch up some areas, a handful of areas, have some scrapes and scratches, couple of areas have some like blemishes from other paint that's just kind of gone onto it so we need to do all those kinds of touch-ups my nights are more tame now oh no slowing down Eddie slowing down used to be a wild boy <laughs> here are the hands and we did some panel lining as well let's see if we can take a look yep there's uh, some panel lining and I chose to use uh, this very same dark kind of ochre color 
uh, as my panel liner rather than using straight up black. I felt like that might look a little more natural rather than using straight up black, which might be too harsh. And actually, if you look at the model kit right here, sleep deprived and going out is not a good combination. No, I <laughs> highly, I mean, it is, tis the season, but yeah, the, definitely wouldn't recommend it. Oh, this is, this is the art. Let's take a look at the, uh, the example of the model. The how's everyone doing? I see Eddie's here and and uh, Kentuan has informed us of his of his, his day as well as uh, Vanilla is here. It's Death. What's up, Death? How you doing? So if we took a take a look at this model here, the example, they are not pan aligning with black. Instead, they're using a kind of brown color, which I thought was really interesting. Um, this kind of uh, contrast between the the gray the gray of the model and then this this kind of brownish tone sepia tone for the panel lining so i thought yeah let's do that rather than black but thank you death Scythe. your color choices are awesome and ballsy yeah wait a minute was that a joke was that a joke death Scythe? <laughs> ballsy hmm, hmm try to slip that one through but yes thank you so much um you know we're just uh we're just trying to do something. We're just trying to do something a little different. And and when I say different, it still feels within the realm of possibility within the world of of of, of Gundam. You know, it it's it doesn't seem that crazy that something would be this color. Matter of fact, I think there's an orange variant or something like that. I feel like I've seen that before. As well as the uh, the base, as you can see right here. Slipped in a tip of a jug. You just slipped nice one accidental yeah I did some uh, plot plating for this um, you know just it's rather basic but you know I'm pretty happy with it and if you look up close we've done some weathering and we'll have to do a bit more weathering to the to this as well but yeah you know just just wanted to get some paint on this didn't want to just leave it pl plain so so that's the progress on that so far. So yeah, pretty happy with what we've done. So we've got to, again, just kind of going over all the areas now and kind of making sure everything is, is kind of good. We've got uh, good coverage of paint on all the little bitties, all, all the little parts. Uh, yeah, but how are you doing, Death? I hope everyone's doing well. It's a, uh, we've, what is it, T minus, T minus two days till Christmas, which is pretty wild. I, 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 uh, it, I don't know. I feel like I've I've been aware of Christmas. I've been aware that it's coming, but like it just just seemed to just spring up on us, nevertheless. And you know, I've I've got all my Christmas shopping done, all of that stuff. So I'm good. But yeah, you know what? It's just it's just a weird feeling for the season where I feel like there's just I've got like this anxiety about the season like shit did i forget something is there something i still need to do i'm like god what is it there's something there's something else and and i <laughs> as far as i know i think i'm okay but i just still feel like there's just something there's just something that needs to be done i mean you know i i actually wanted to do more christmas drawings but that kind of didn't happen unfortunately just you know just it just it just works out that way but yeah there's a handful of other like extra Christmas projects that I would have liked to have done, but yeah, just again didn't work out that way. And, eh, whatevs, whatevs. Wagwan, what's up, Ashwin? How you doing? This is the ball that we've been working on right here. Nice yellow ball, indeed. It's coming along. Kentuan, protocol, the gameplay is very samey and repetitive as fuck. Even the area and puzzles is the same jack shit. Only only get it for the story TBH. Alright. Alright. You know, it, it was only until like a few days later when the game came out that I realized that the the main character is is an actor. Like his his likeness, his voice, and his mocap and everything. It's like an actual actor. I, I think he was in Hell's Angels or whatever that show's called. You know that biker show. 
I was like, what the hell? Because I just thought they made like a generic bald white guy. <laughs> you know, like like all those uh, PlayStation 3, Xbox 360 era characters. Just like bald dudes. I just thought he was just a bald guy. Looks spectacular. Spectacular bald. Well, thank you, Ashwin. We are working on the decals now. Getting all the getting all the decorative bits on it and I'm hoping that we can uh, get that squared away today and this evening and then we can work on the weathering as well hmm Mando damn it I forgot to uh, primer when I was out and about yesterday yeah um, I, I I'm kind of in a similar situation I I was well, it was like the other day, we were at the hobby shop. And I was thinking, I guess I should buy some... Some top coat, and then I didn't. <laughs> I was thinking, eh, the weather's gonna be bad anyways, so I'm not even gonna really have an opportunity to top coat, even if I wanted to. But still, I feel like I should have got some, anyways. I'm thinking about getting semi-gloss, I don't know. How do you guys, what do you guys like? Do you guys like semi-gloss? I know it depends on the project, but uh, yeah, what do you guys like? What do you guys like? I've never tried semi-gloss. I've just placed some decals on a wet sponge, just like that. Ashwin, remember when we had all those statues from the special editions and it was like a museum of generic hip white dudes? <laughs> yeah, like uh, Uncharted Man and, uh, and frickin' infamous guy Can't tell I'm really disappointed on how the game is but I'm halfway done with the story so far another four hours left so how long is that game overall then I mean that's unfortunate but you know it happens shit happens shit happens all right Let's find a way. You know, another thing that I, I probably should get is like a nice kind of mount to kind of set my model vice to hold it. And then, uh, you know, I, I won't have to hold the model in addition to placing the decal. You guys know, you guys know the deal. It's kind of annoying to do that. I find that these uh, decals, these water slide decals from, uh, from this company require a bit more time bit more water Wah. nine hours long felt ripped off buying at full price oh that's unfortunate okay let's see let's see if we can brush this off Let's get this. There's writing here. Is it, wait, is there writing? I can't, I can't even tell if there's writing. It's, it's actually just squares. Let's put some squares. Get a better brush. This brush is no bueno. Not slide. Ooh, ooh. How's it going, not slide? We're putting on some decals on now, some decals. But it looks like they need more time to brush off. <laughs> now you can see, I mean, yes. Uh, not the best at this, but it's a general principle. use a q-tip um i think overall i think i might like water slides more than than dry rub um if i have a choice we're gonna go with we're gonna go with dry rub sorry we're gonna go with water slides if i have a choice 
because uh, the 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 fact that I can reposition it as I'm as I'm placing it as I'm doing now, it's just a very useful thing that I really enjoy. Uh, enjoy is that the right word? I like I like and appreciate about water slides. And I definitely ruined a handful of uh, I definitely ruined a handful of water slides. Sorry, dry rubs. Getting all confused here. I ruined a handful of water slides. Dry rub. Last night and the other night as I was placing them on. It was rather frustrating, to be honest. But, you know. You know. Damn, that looks good. Thank you, Ashwin. We're just, uh, you know, we're just trying. We're just trying out here. We're just trying. You're building a little Goku? What? What model is this? What model is this little Goku? I know there's a big Goku. Like, didn't they reissue like a new revised Goku? Figure rise Goku. Okay. Figure rise. They re released one and it's like more articulated. There you go. That's the very same one? Okay. Nice. Nice you. There you go. Now, all of those decals look exactly the same. I'm wondering if we can place something else. Uh, it's for a bit of variety. There you go. Let's go with this one. Super good. Yeah, I hear it's more articulated, that new Goku. And so I guess we can expect more f in the future of, like, these revised more articulated uh, uh, Dragon Ball characters. That will be cool. I'm, You know, I'd really like for them to release poseable Kimitsu no Yaiba models. I feel like that's probably going to happen at some point. I mean, that they've got the they've got the models that are monopose that are coming out. And those are cool, sure. But I would really like a, a poseable Tanjiro and stuff like that. That would be fun. That would be fun. Let's put these on the sponge. Hmm. I think I should use a pipette. Ah, Kentuan, you've got to go. Well, thank you for stopping by, Kentuan, and thanks once again for the, uh, the sub. Appreciate it. And if I don't see you before Christmas, have yourself a, a Merry Christmas. Only, uh, only two days away before the, the f before the arrival of the Chimney Demon. Let's just let those chill for a minute, and we gotta find some other appropriate decals. But yeah, uh, for Ashwin, uh, this is basically the the way that I place a decal. Like, get yourself a tray, a bit of a deep tray, fill it with water. Well, you don't have to fill it with water, but the point is you want to have a sponge resting in the tray, and then let this absorb a bunch of water, right? And then you can place your decals on top of the sponge and just let them chill for a bit while while this while the decal itself absorbs water, such that it gets to a point where the the backing paper will separate from the actual image just a little bit. It'll be ready to separate just with a gentle pushing off with a brush, as I've been doing. You kind of just gently sort of nudge it off with a brush, and then uh, yeah, you'll be good. That's kind of how I do it. It's kind of the, the strat. I wonder if these would be good. I think that might be kind of cool. But you know what, guys? I think I'm going to take a quick little break. Nature calls. So give me a moment, everyone. Give me five to six to seven. And I'll be right back. Uh, we are continuing with... Uh, try and adjust my light here. What do we like? Welcome back. Welcome back. Welcome back. Yes, I'm back. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, hmm. Oh, yes. <laughs> I was looking at, uh, at decals. What's going to be good? 
Um, hmm. Well, we've got uh, we've got some resting over there. I think we can use those now. These decals are one one hundred scale. Therefore, uh, this right here. And I had bought them for my witch project, uh, the 30-minute sister model. And now that model is a 1 in 1 44th scale model. So actually, it, you know, it was kind of large. Like a lot of the, a lot of the, the decals were kind of a bit too large for the, for the subject matter. But now this is a... 100 1 in 100 scale model so it's that's a better fit to be honest I wasn't I hadn't really considered that I just was like these look cool let's just get these so yeah I I did use some for my witch but uh, not as much as I maybe had originally anticipated but you know Nothing nothing ever truly goes to waste in this hobby. You can always use it for some other purpose, as I am now. End up using it for another kit. I think we can kind of nudge this down a little bit. I would I would use dry rub stickers again at some point in time. Uh, cause I would like to have more experience with it. I, you know, I've, I've, I've used it the one time I've had a hard time, not going to lie. <laughs> it was kind of challenging. Um, but, uh, you know, we made it through and we lost some homies along the way. We lost some, we lost some decals along the way, but that's, that's all right. The dry rubs that is. And so, yeah, I would like to practice using them another time if I have another, another opportunity. All right, let's push this. This is uh, upside down. I'm gonna push these babies around again. trying to line it up and on the back I kind of put it like right at the edge so we've got to do that as well just like that check it again that is just about right They definitely take the most concentration to use. Yeah, I was I was doing all right. I was felt like I was in a good groove. I was actually working fairly quickly with them as well. I was like, hey, we're we're, we're working at a fairly good pace. This is not so bad, right? And uh, two things messed me up the most with uh, the dry the dry transfers. Uh, the first thing was the concentration of of decals on a on a certain part so for example if you look at this area here there's one two three four five six seven eight there th this one little uh, uh, segment of the model here has eight dry transfer decals right and putting one is fairly easy you're just like boom okay I've got it but then because I'm using tape uh, to to affix the uh, the decal or to help align the decal uh, because I'm using tape suddenly uh, you know a, a, a bit of the tape might touch a decal that's already been placed like if I'm putting this one on and a bit of that tape is gonna touch this suddenly this gets lifted off and that happened a handful of times and it was <laughs> it sucked I was like what the hell so that was one issue. The other issue was sometimes uh, when I cut out the, the dry transfer, 
right? I'm cutting out the dry transfer. A couple of times I would then, the, the transfer itself would flip, right? And suddenly I would get confused as to what side was the transfer side and what side was the side that I was going to put tape on, right? That happened a handful of times and when I'm placing, and I would place it on the model and I'm trying to rub it onto it, it wouldn't, it wouldn't transfer. And I was like, what the hell's going on? Oh my god. Like, it was, the transfer was facing the tape. So, that's, that's, that's a messed up part. Like, it's, it's, I can't do anything about it. So, yeah, those were the two major issues that I had. But, you know, that's a symptom of Vercaz in general. Right, yeah, I, I, I gather also from uh, Bacon, a friend of the channel, was talking about how he was just having issues with, uh, with just how many decals there are when he was doing that. It's just very taxing, very, um, it's just a, a very kind of annoying process to get them all down. So yeah, you're right. That's just a symptom of, of, uh, of those, of this product overall. All right, let's see. Should be another there should be another decal up here. Let's see, let's use this one. Uh, hint for that, just leave a little bit of the film uncut, then grab your reverse tweezers so you know which side is the correct side, then finish the cuts. Ah I see, yeah, I, I would have to get reverse tweezers or yeah, yeah. I you know what I did actually? Hmm. I can't actually show you because I don't have the sheet on me at the moment. But uh, if we if we pretend that this is a dry transfer sheet, right? What I what I did was actually towards the end I took a marker. I took a marker and actually just drew lines on top of the the top part of the decal sheet because this is the side that that is unimportant, right? It's the underside. That's important with dry transfers, right? Because that's where the image then transfers. So, um, so yeah, I just marked it up with a marker, and that kind of helped as well to make me understand what side I was even dealing with. But yeah, just uh, yeah, it was interesting. Sorry about the quiet. I'm on customer service for a missing package. Oh, no problem. No problem, Carmi. Take care of business. Taking care of business the Carmi way. No worries. This, uh, yeah, it was it was tough though. It was tough, and like I said, I lost some, and I wasn't too annoyed to be honest. I was just like, eh, you know, it's all, I'm learning, and and I'd rather screw up on a on a master grade ball than like a master grade freaking unicorn or something you know what i'm saying like i'd rather you know something really big and that like i'd want to do a really really nice job on um this is like this is like a good size it's a good size it's a good project a good learning project i think highly recommended for those that want to get into the 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 bigger beefier builds in the in the gunpla world the ball is a, is a pretty good route. Just gonna let that soak. We're gonna put a few more. Just let a few more soak. Probably need to get more water too. My first MG that had dry transfers was the Epion. And some mismatched decals now. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah, like on this thing here, some decals are, are kind of askew, to be honest. But, I mean, five, like, whatever, man. It's just, again, it's just part of the process. Part of the process. That's what I tell myself as I cry to sleep. It's all part of the process. <laughs> hmm. Is this, have these two tracks been cycling? I feel like I've been listening to these... View it as adding character. Exactly. 
builds character. Builds character. I mean, at least this kit isn't too characterful. Let's put it that way. <laughs> at least he isn't too characterful. To by that I mean like he's like completely a a, a devastated mess. He has just enough character. <laughs> It, it definitely has some character, but on the on the whole, it's, it's uh, yeah, it's pretty good, pretty good, pretty happy with the results. Gonna do some weathering too. Looking forward to that. That's that's kind of like what I like to do for my models the most. wet enough let's just put it on the on the paper there so I feel like it's not wet enough the sponge Doo -doo -doo -doo. all right let's get the next one while we let the previous the current one soak we'll get the other ones that are probably ready now brush those on steam sale guys guys gonna get anything on a uh, on the steam holiday sale uh, i don't know i don't know I, i've i bought so much S steam stuff already i haven't even played them all i would like to get kin seed um i don't know if you guys know about that game it's a uh, it's kind of like a stardew valley game it, matter of fact it looks a lot like stardew valley it might have a bit more of a got no monies exactly that's the other thing too so I'm, I'm, I'm kind of holding off on box till boxing day possibly something cool might might show up on boxing day but yeah there's this game can I kind of want to try that one all sorts all sorts of games uh, my brother Night Trap was uh, looking at at Dark Tide. Got a couple of people here that are super super into Dark Tide. But unfortunately, it's not on sale. But anyways, we'll see. Too busy with my plastic addiction. Yeah, I I feel you on that one as well. I'm 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 uh presently very much caught up in that um you know like i said i bought a number of games from like the halloween sale and other kinds of sales but i haven't really 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 sunk my teeth into uh many games because uh, like you i'm just kind of all caught up in the plastic plastic addiction and it it's not gonna it's not gonna end it's not gonna subside anytime soon my that's my sense like I bought a full price game uh, Bayonetta 3 pretty much right when it came out because I really enjoyed Bayonetta 1 didn't play 2 and yeah that was like a full price game and, and in Canada like games full price games are like freaking expensive right <sighs> And I and I barely played it, and I, I still will, I still want to play it, but it's just again, it's just like a a matter of time. Like, how much time do I have? And if I have spare time, like, what am I going to do with that spare time? I'm likely going to uh, be building a model or something, right? Mando. Speaking of which, uh, Tie Fighter Advance and HG Psycho Gundam came in while you were. In the restaurant. <laughs> nice, 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 nice. I think I, I saw someone else post a pics of uh of Psycho Gundam. Uh beautiful. Oh, I think purple. Purple got the um got the MG Verka Psycho Gundam, I think. Very cool. Not slide, the way they organized this kit is so elegant, it's awesome. No Steam for games for me either. Just bought Death Stranding recently though. Oh dude, Death Stranding is so good. Have you so you've not played it before then? I, I hope you enjoy it. It's a really, really cool game, really unique game. And I think like I'll tell you this much about Death Stranding. The first the first ten hours, maybe even more, 
of Death Stranding, you're going to be questioning. You're, you're going to be making, you're going to be having a lot of questions like, do I like this game? Is this game good? Am I having fun? Is this the point of the game? Is this the game? Like, just walking from place to place, delivering shit? Is, is this really the extent of the game? And then by around hour 15 to hour, hour 20, you'll be like, yo, this is the game. This is the game. <laughs> like, like I'm delivering. I'm into it. This is, this is what I'm I'm here for. And it's it's really interesting, uh, the concept of the game because I think that by and large, many things about that game you've seen in other games. Even this notion of just simply delivering shit to other people, like you've seen that kind of thing, like fetch quests and stuff like that. But the manner in which uh, uh, they go about pacing the game, the manner in which they go about like giving you the tools that you, you you need to traverse and even the act of traversal itself is just so fascinating like like even within the first 20 minutes of the game when you're just when you have control of your character and you walk and you walk on the on the terrain and it's the first time where a game has made you really feel like you were you had to be aware of your balance like like walking with heavy shit on your back and and traversing uh, like rocky terrain, you know, and you have to be mindful of, of where you walk and your balance. And it's just so fascinating. It's just like, it sounds so mundane, right? Walking, why is that interesting? But, um, but it is quite interesting actually. <laughs> Eat big, it's big. Uh, vanilla, I would never spend 10 hours a game uh, I don't know if I like, if I don't like it in under an hour or so, I'll return it. Okay, so this is a special allowance that I, I am affording Hideo Kojima because, okay, we've got, let's, let's, let's be real here. Uh, I don't think they're presently here. We've got a couple of Hideo Kojima dick riders uh, uh, in this, in the, in the streamer cinematic universe. Uh, uh, some of my friends here, uh, they really, really love Hideo Kojima. I like his games. I'm not, uh, I'm not like to that extent. Like, oh my god, I love his games. But I was willing to try out the game and give it a shot. And it is, like I said, it is a tough sell. Like, like very early on, you're kind of like, huh, I don't know about this. Is this actually fun? Is this good? I don't know. It take, it took a while. It took a long while, longer than some people have patience for. Like, uh, like, like Vanilla said, and. As a matter of fact, uh, the game was and is kind of polarizing for people, but I actually think that's a good thing. I think that I, I'm, I'm glad that there's games out there that aren't made to be broadly appealing. I'm glad that there's games out there that are kind of like catering to a very specific and possibly odd taste. And for that game to be as big as it is and, and it's getting a sequel, I think that's great because uh, the opposite is like, Ubisoft games where they're just sort of like like you know what kind of game you're getting into and it's just like okay okay we're just gonna go here we're gonna get this shit we're gonna you know jump off the roof and all this stuff and that that can be fun in itself too but it's just like it's just such a a tiresome kind of exercise in in, a, in one way or another I guess that's what I want to say Yeah, I, I mean, yeah, I was doubting. I was definitely doubting. I was like, ooh, is this fun? I don't know. Is this is this the game? I'm not sure. But it, it did end up being pretty cool. Like I said, I, I don't love it to the extent that maybe a friend of the channel, Bacon, loves that game. But I did like it. I traded it in. The second I beat it, <laughs> then the next day, I think I, like, traded it in for, uh, for Devil May Cry. <laughs> Devil May Cry 5, which I actually really, really love. That's more my speed. Devil May Cry 5, freaking awesome game. I'd love to play more of that game, to be honest. I really like that one. Oh, by the way, Vanilla, I, I, I don't know if you were around, but I did mention that the I saw recently an, a game that I thought you might like. It's uh, Melatonin. Have you heard of this game, Melatonin? <laughs> Bamba, happy early Christmas. Yes, happy early Christmas to you, Bamba. Nice to see you here. Hope you're doing well. How you doing? 
yeah oh my gosh i can't believe that uh that christmas is 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 soon approaching chimney demon is about to make his appearance um and then after that'll be new year's and then it'll be 2023 guys what the hell the hell 2023 uh you haven't heard about that melatonin it's actually a rhythm game and it's kind of like like rhythm heaven that's why i i mentioned it because it's kind of yeah 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 it's like a, a rhythm game but it's kind of like chill vibes a, a bit it looks it was kind of neat from what i had seen it seemed like something that might be of uh, some interest to you yeah look cool they're like a uh, chill chill vibe game to like help you go to sleep but i'm like eh, i don't know about that like don't you have to concentrate while playing Rhythm Heaven? Yeah, it looked cool though. Bamba doing well. Went to a Star Wars orchestra yesterday. Still buzzing. It was really good. Shit. What was the final song that they played? And was it Duel of Fates? That's like my favorite Star Wars piece. Duel of Fates, dude. Like as much as I dislike the the prequel trilogy, at the very least they gave us Duel of Fates, which is which was sweet. Finished Rhythm Heaven Fever. I'll try I'll try 100%, but oh my god, it's hard as hell. Yeah, there's there's this mode in Rhythm Heaven where like they remix. Have you tried have you got to the point where there was like remix mode and they will play like five different songs or games in a row and you have to remember the pattern for each of those games like you have to remember the concept that's actually really fun ah bamba they encored it with a jazzy version of the cantina oh shit the cantina song sick uh, Mando prequel trilogy also gave us near infinite memes. Yeah, that's why I'm kind of, I'm kind of cool with the prequel trilogy now, especially in light of uh, of the new sequel trilogy. Like I, I've kind of looked on it fondly as this goofy, this goofy game, or rather a goofy movie, a goofy series of movies that uh, that people were kind of hard on, and maybe some, maybe people will feel that way about uh, the new trilogy as well. <laughs> Oh, you did all the remixes already? Damn, that's those are pretty hard too. I think that was like the the last few things that I did in in Rhythm Heaven was the the remixes. And it's miles better than the sequel trilogy. I, I'd have to think about that. You, you're probably onto something though. Fix the ha hangover. Now you're good, good. <laughs> ah, I think I want a snack, guys. What are we gonna have? What what are we gonna have with our for our snack today? Look at this. We've got a Hershey's chocolate bar, sugar cookie, sugar cookie flavored white cream with cookie pieces. Mm. I don't know about that. We've got some blackberries. Let's have some some blackberries. Mando super greasy hamburger. And then a massive dump. Dude, that was my, that's my strat. My strat is a greasy ass hamburger the day after. For sure. I don't know what the science is behind that. Does anyone have any concept of what the science behind that is? But my understanding was like your body, because the alcohol acts as like a degreaser, right? Like it basically like degreases all your insides. So now your body wants grease really badly. Bamba Duel of Fates was the second last and it ended with Imperial March since they had a bunch of uh, 501st and they paraded the hall. Cool. Dude, that sounds awesome. That sounds like a good time. So you're a, you're a big Star Wars fan then. Have you seen um, um, Endor? Is his name Endor? Andor? I have not seen Andor yet. Vanilla spent days with the last one. Damn. Yeah, great game. Gonna have another Blackberry, guys. 
Well, I'm going to take a little break. Let's just chat for a second. <laughs> That's the thing about uh, doing decals. Like, I don't know. It just takes so much concentration that I have to stop after every once in a while. I have to stop and just eat some blackberries and chat with you guys. Fuh, yeah, yeah, fuh. Oh my god. Uh, Yowza. Yowza was here. Or Yowza was here in Ontario. He was in Canada. And he took some pictures of, uh, of the food that he ate while he was here. He got this gigantic ass bowl of pho. I mean, really, that's the only way to have it. It was like this big, guys. It was a big ass bowl of pho. And I was like, god damn it. I want pho now. Free. If you were to get it, it'd be free. That's that's pretty compelling. The free part is compelling if it is free. Mando, uh, just cut a square foot hole in the wall leading outside and shove a metal tube with a fan in it. Nobody's gonna notice. Yeah, yeah. Oh, God, but even that just seems like too much. Then again, the alternative is like, like I said, like, am I just, am I really gonna get a studio space and stuff? As as ballin' as that might be. Uh, okay, so now we gotta do the hands. The, uh, the claws. Free? Yeah, free's, free's good. I like free. Free is definitely a good, is a good motivator. <laughs> okay, we got the hands. We got the grabbies. Where's the stickers? Okay, there are stickers for the grabbies. They don't actually tell you? I can't even... What are they? Let me see. It's actually kind of hard to see on the kit itself. I think they would have been white. But let's just slap a few on. Slap a few of these babies on. Got a number of these orange ones. Oh, we got some white ones here. Might as well slap some of these white ones on. Oh. Okay, there was that caution. Danger. Ooh. Okay. There was another water slide that I I set up, but I didn't actually place. Let's do that. I'm going to chop off a piece of it as well. Uh, like I said, at least for me, placing water slide decals, it, it requires a bit of concentration. So again, pardon me everyone if I'm not talking as much as, I, as I'd like to, I'm trying to focus up on this. Pardon moi. That's why I'm letting him, letting, that's why him letting go of the tools. Oh, my cousin is a sign maker commissioned by businesses. He was in the sneaker customization scene and doesn't really do it much. And he wants me to evolve in Gundam because me and him grew up on Mecca. Ah, yeah, 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 that would be cool. So how long of a drive are we talking here? Like I said, man, like it, it's out of state, might be a bit of a drive. But free. But free, though. The free part. That's the good part. 
Hmm. 12 hours? Ooh. That's kind of a lot, though. <laughs> I was thinking more along the lines of... Uh, I was thinking it was more like... Like five hours. You know, if we're talking five hours, let's go. But yeah, 12. Unless you can come up with like a couple of other reasons to go, right? If you can kind of cook up, uh, you know, a, a few other reasons that you might want to make the trip. You know, seeing family, seeing some things, doing some things. All right, all right, all right. Hmm. Where are the? <laughs> where am I gonna put these? Okay, let's put this one here. It doesn't really matter which way it goes because it's just there's no text on it. So let's put it this way. Wait, is there text? I I actually think there is text, but anyways, it's so hard to read. It's going to be on yellow. You know, I've noticed that uh, the yellow here isn't as saturated as I would have liked. Like, it's kind of like, I see a bit of the gray underneath. I spray painted this uh, white, but I didn't do a very solid coating of white, you know? And so we are seeing a bit of the the original gray of the plastic just lightly it's just a, a bit of a lighter tone to it thanks to the white primer and so yeah it's not as solid as I'd like but I think that's okay just because I don't I don't think I would have wanted this thing to be like a super super bright yellow like it is a bright yellow already still but it would just be that much more brighter Get one of these decals. Hmm. Hmm. Orange. Maybe that'll be good. It's a lot. There's a lot that we can choose from. I. I don't really feel all that enthusiastic about <laughs> about putting a lot, a lot, even though that's the Katoki way, our God. Our god Katoki would want us to put as many decals as possible. Hmm. Okay, let's go with this one. Whoa. Callie's like four hours away from me, then I gotta go eight hours north. Holy shit. Okay, let's get that on there. We gotta get another one for the other side, of course. But yeah, Eddie, if you could get the that airbrush, I mean, it's just a matter of time and things working out, timing you know the everything working out in terms of your schedule but yeah once you get that I bet I bet you'd have the time of your life working with an airbrush and it just opens up a lot more possibilities right like you can just do a whole lot more with it I I really do enjoy brush painting but I'm not going to sit here and say that like I, I'll never use an airbrush and I'm, I'm completely opposed to airbrushes because I'm a handbrush guy like no I would definitely love to use one and get one at some point in time but it's just not really uh, it's not really in the cards for me at the moment but uh, someday perhaps Mando I mean I like seeing the Pacific Northwest seeing the Pacific Northwest is a valid reason to go up there if you have the time and the money on the shmoney don't bow to Katoki's fetish <laughs> I need to like I said guys we gotta get we gotta get a water slide decal of Katoki, and then we can put it on uh, on our models. <laughs> uh, if I could, 
If I could get that done, I'll just put it right here on the base. Katoki's face, like just right here. <laughs> mm. Eddie would save me some time. Lots of time. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Like, I mean, like for me, hand brushing, I have to go over this area like several times with very, very thin down paint by hand. And yeah, like if it was an airbrush, yeah, you would, you, that would be a wrap. You'd, you'd get that done in no time. Faux show. Sure. Ah, I realized that I've got to get the very same decals done on the other arms. So let's get that. Again, guys, you can see I've got uh, two different colored arms. That was sort of the idea. The plan was to have um, have mismatched parts uh, just to give the feeling that this was a, a vehicle that was under repairs and had to use other parts from other other balls over the years it's lasted it's lasted the wars for a long time maybe it's a maybe it's a ball from like the earliest days of, of when they were simply just construction equipment and then and then uh, and then it was repurposed and and this one has lasted all this time something like that something like cat Eddie, but then it still wouldn't stop me from learning more hand painting. Yeah, you know, I, I feel like it's just good to have different tools in your arsenal. I feel like it's just good to have good to have all the possibilities available to you. You don't want to be in a situation where it's like, shit, like, uh, this would be better with hand painting, but I'm not that good at hand painting. So instead, I'm just going to do it some other way. Like, it's just good to have options. There we go. Whew. The other thing too is I find that um, with with hand brushing, like uh, it kind of lends itself to a, a certain kind of style of painting, a certain kind of aesthetic, a certain kind of mood. You know, you can really get into hand painting and make that more explicitly uh, an aspect of your model, where you're kind of like like. focusing on making it a focus uh to get more expressive expressive brush strokes and stuff like that you know i've seen some beautiful models that people have done where they really kind of push this notion of, of hand painting and uh and yeah that's something that i'd like to explore more to be honest like it's just weird though like for me um i'm hand painting this model and i'm trying to get a very smooth result you know and I feel like I feel like I've done a pretty good job, but at the same time, I feel like I could I could really just go in and go kind of bonkers with the with the hand painting. That would take a whole lot more time, to be honest. And, and it's not like I have the time to do that. But that is something that I've been thinking about: is really trying to become a whole lot more expressive with my painting. I know that sounds very artsy fartsy. <laughs> Pardon me, everyone. Push, push, push. Oh, pardon me, guys. I'm going to check the chat in a second. I'm just focusing on this real quick. Yeah, thanks, everyone, for hanging out with me today. I... I was thinking about streaming yesterday, but man, I was so focused on on doing these uh, dry transfers, and it was, I have to say, it was, it was kind of bothering me for a while. I was like, oh my god, this is so, this is so annoying, this whole process. Um, and, and I, and you know what it was? It was screwing up some, like I lost some, and that was really, really annoying to me. But, you know. We managed, we managed. Here, let me check the chat real quick. Eddie, um, 
yeah, and just got a 3D printer at the shop, so I feel like uh, I've got more out outlets for creativity. What, what kind of things do you print at the store? That's uh, that's very interesting. What kind of stuff have you uh, been making at the store? 3D printing, that is. Eddie, haven't really messed with it yet. Oh, I see. If you need help, I have five, five of them. Holy shit. Resonant FDM. Holy shit. That's what's up. <laughs> Just mini models, because you're testing. Ah, okay, cool. Very cool. That's exciting, though. That is exciting. I'm not sure if I like this. I'm not sure if I like this here. Hmm. I think I'm going to move it. I'm going to move it. It just seems like it's just like kind of cramped and it just seems to sit awkwardly within within all of that other stuff. So, let's move it. Again, this is something of an advantage of uh of the water slide if you are sort of using cut uh, 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 decals, custom decals, or you're sort of freeballing the the positioning of them. You kind of have the opportunity to change it if you don't like it. If you're not going by the instructions, which is is what I'm doing, I'm not going by the instructions. I think this is a little nicer. I think that's a little nicer. Do you know, I actually did manage to move a dry decal. Um, it just wasn't where it was supposed to be. By mistake. And I did manage to place it somewhere else. It's Spade. What up, Spade? How you doing? Still balling, I see. Yeah, we're going to be balling for a few days yet, for sure. But yeah, like, I was able to move it simply by placing a piece of tape on top and kind of pressing down and then lifting it up and then it all kind of came up together and I was able to reposition it. I think you have to do that rather quickly like if you've if you've immediately noticed that it that's not where it belongs then you can kind of do that but uh still I I wouldn't rely on that. You know what I'm saying? Like like just get it right the first time. <laughs> but yeah, how are you doing Spade? What's up? Nice to see you here. I'm still balling. Got a couple more days of ball, and I, I, I suspect it's what I have in my future. The, the basic paint job is done, and most of the panel lining is done as well. Um, now we're doing the decals, and this is sort of like the bonus round because uh, I'm applying third-party decals. I'm not relying on the stickers that they want you to use for the for the appendages and the gun. So yes, this is a, a bit of a bonus round. And then after that, we're going to do some weathering, which is my favorite part. So I'm looking forward to that. It's been I'm doing pretty good, pretty hyped. I finally bought the source files to a 3D model I've been eyeballing for a couple of years now and it's something I've always wanted to build as a youngling. I'm printing the parts to a Johnny Five model from the movie Short Circuit. Oh shit! Sweet. Actually we were talking about that not too long ago. Johnny Five dude. Hell yeah. <laughs> nice. I barely remember that movie now. But yeah. Sweet. Now, I have to think of uh, something to put on this. I think something should go there. What do we got? What do we got? Kind of has to fit. Hmm. Uh, 
Ba-dum-bum. Hmm. Maybe this. Maybe this. I'm also glad that I'm 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 glad uh, to be doing this now here on stream because I feel like I feel like if I were to be doing this uh, not streaming, I would get really annoyed, <laughs> and uh, and I might rush things. But I'm I'm feeling pretty pretty good about this process right now. I've got you guys here keeping me company, so I'm not not losing my mind. Oof. Like, you know, there's going to come a time where um, I'm going to build another Verkha kit from, you know, uh, a more involved kit, a bigger kit, big boy kit, some kind of Gundam. And it's just going to have that much more decals. And I'm kind of, I'm kind of dreading that because <laughs> this is like a lot for me. And I know that you know, obviously many other kits will just have that much more, that much more detail. A spade, I ended up watching it last night while I was upscaling the parts. An already long and tedious process with Johnny's part count made even more tedious when I had to go through all that again because I didn't like the tower supports. And it's big shit. How big are we talking here? Checking over all these spots. I wonder, would this look good? Hmm. Would this look good here? Let's just put it here and see. I'm kind of, kind of want to see. I can't, I can't think of another time I'm gonna use this. So shit. Okay guys, we're back. Uh, I've got some paint and we're ready to do some panel lining for this model here. Um, most of the yellow, which is, you know, the predominant color of this model, I've already done the panel lining for it. And I used simply Baylor Brown, just uh, very thin down uh, to get into the crevices and the cracks. It's actually um, not too bad doing it that way. Um, the grooves, on this model are the channels are quite wide enough uh, that my brush can can get in there with ease um, if it was a model with with thinner like a, a smaller scale then that might have been harder to do but yeah it wasn't so bad and so now there's the dark brown parts and then this ochre part that we have to align as well as well as the blue and each of those I'll, I'll panel line with something different. Um, I'm thinking for the blue, we can use this Cantor blue. And then for for the ochre color, we'll use uh, this very dark brown, which is in fact the brown of this Canon and the other small accents. So we kind of keep the relationship the same. We can kind of like, we can, you know, we use the same color in other parts of the model, which I think is kind of a good idea. And so maybe we'll use the black. We'll do the black for now um, here on the cannon. There's a, a, a number of parts that need to be lined. And how about we just take out this cannons? Easy enough to take that off. You seem so bald now, <laughs> this guy. So yeah, let's get that. Just a... Uh, Trying to be very conscious of dust too, any small dust particles. Brush that away. We can attach this to a to a grabby technical term. It's actually too doesn't really want to be grabbed. Just don't really need to. We can kind of prop it up against something to help us get a good angle on it. There you go, something like that. Sh 
should shake uh, your ink stuff as well. Always got to shake all your paint. It's Paper Joey. What's up, Paper Joey? How are you doing today? Nice to see you here. Hope you're doing well. I'm just doing some panel lining now for the model. Those are the really that's the the final two steps for this this project. It's going to be the panel lining and then the and the weathering, which is you know it's 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 no it's not a it's not a small thing. We got to do a fair amount of panel lining, so yeah. Rough day at work, but we're getting there. Ah, I'm sorry to hear that, but yeah, getting there, <laughs> getting getting there, getting through it. Panel lining, yeah, got to do the panel lining. Um, I I I have not bought like the Tamiya panel liner, um, the panel liner that's commonly used. I've never done it that way, um, but I'd like to try that at some point in time. Just didn't work out for me for this project. It's gonna shake some paint. Oh, I should probably shake all this paint while I'm at it. Let's just do that now. Ah, shake all this shit. Yeah, earlier today I was, uh, adding some more water slide decals. We're pretty much done with the water slides, which is nice. That was, uh, that was, well, the water slides themselves, that wasn't too bad, but actually the, the dry decals, the dry decals were quite a challenge for me. It's, I've only ever done them the first time. Um, only ever done them once, which is like now. <laughs> And I definitely screwed some up, which was which was kind of shitty. But you know, it's, it's it's fine. Oh, by the way, I, I can show you the whole project actually, the whole thing. I don't think I had shown you, but yeah, this is more or less what we're looking at right here. And I'm pretty happy with the results thus far. Um, yeah, not bad, not bad. Um, I like the colors. And even though I did screw up a couple of water slides, it's not it's not a big deal. Like none of them are like upside down or anything. It's just some got ruined, so I just took them off completely, kind of thing. I think I probably messed up around five of them, to be honest. Which is, this is you know, I'd rather have none. <laughs> I'd rather have them like all be fine. Ah, here's bacon. What's up, bacon? Were you in here earlier? This is, your, this is your first appearance, Bacon. I think it is. Yeah, welcome, welcome, Bacon. Nice to see you here. Yeah, we're it's it's coming along. It's coming along. Pretty happy with it so far. 